She says, it's so sunny and you're going to do a garden tour in the sun? Well, we are. Hi, everybody. It's Robbie from Southern California. And we're going to go and do a zip around the deck. I haven't done that for a while. Isn't this cool? This is a tote lid. All I did was just staple it on and now I can store all my tomato steaks there. So let's do a zip because I think it looks a lot different than it did about three weeks ago. Okay, I haven't done much in here because everything's doing good. This is, let me step back. This is parsley and dill and they both went to seed. So I'm letting them do its thing so I can collect the seed. Then on the bottom, you know, let's look here in the bottom. I've got the celery in its own container, garlic chives, a little tomato came up. There's not enough sun there. I'm going to have to move it. This is mint. It might be oregano. No, it's mint. And then this is Swiss chard, more mint, and purslane's coming up any, everywhere and anywhere. More purslane. Up on top here, this is my oregano that's been here for years, years and years. It's overcrowded in there, but let me tell you something. All I have to do is grab a handful, move it to another pot, and I can spread the joy all over, which I have done. I've got it even in the chair garden. This is my stevia. It's gone to seed, starting to go to seed. This is from the front yard where my ginger and turmeric grows. I brought it, brought it here, I think, last year. It's doing really good. So I've got it now in the front yard. This does like shade. I don't know why the labels always say full sun. I've seen it. But when I had my first stevia in full sun, it didn't last at all. They seem to like the shade. See, right now, the sun is up above us. I don't want to shine my camera in the sun. And it's going to go across. And as you can see, even though the sun is above us, this is going to get shade until around September. Then it's going to start to get a lot of sun, and I have to be careful with it. And I can shade it, but it doesn't mind some sun. It just doesn't like a lot of sun, and especially in the heat. Especially the heat. So this is doing fantastic. Look how big it got. In three weeks, how big. And then I've got you know, here just an ice cream container with lettuce growing. Here I've got parsley. And there was a cutting in here of a special type of brassica, but something ate it. Probably a caterpillar. I'm not going to worry about it. And then this is garlic chives and the lettuce that went to seed. And there's some more parsley. I'm leaving that too because I'm going to collect the seed. Here is my old chair I set up years ago. Doing really good. Got a tomato plant, but it's not getting enough sun. So it's struggling. Because tomatoes need to be in full sun. And then, of course, we got this gazebo Gary put together. Which I happen to love because I can do projects and everything under here. But... The plants that are now in full sun, like tomatoes, don't like it. The lettuce doesn't mind it. Lettuce is doing really good, and I'm leaving this because the goldfinches come in and feed on it. Plus, I'm going to collect some lettuce seeds soon and grow more lettuce. Purslane's growing everywhere. That's that old pepper plant. Still throws a little pepper here and there. I found some beans that had grown in here. Look at that. So I'm going to collect the seeds off and get them growing. More. We have purslane everywhere. They pop. They have the seed heads. See, this is where the seeds are. And they just pop. And then they just grow everywhere. And I don't want them, but I'm going to leave them right now. Walking onions, lettuce. So that's what's going on here. Let's walk over here. Hopefully I won't walk into my cord. I'll tell you about the cord in a minute. This has worked out fantastic. I just harvested all our lettuce. I'm going to harvest this because I don't want to collect the seed on this. I want to grow lettuce in here. Lettuce does really, really good in the shade. It doesn't mind the heat and yeah it will bolt but before it bolts we get tons of lettuce off of it. So that is a good thing. You want to grow lettuce, grow it in the shade if you're in a hot area. That is oregano. This is a whole bunch of tomatoes coming up. I'm starting to pull those and move them. I'm not even sure what time they are. But you know what? If I drop the tomato in there, that must have meant I like the tomato. So I'm going to plant those all over. More celery, garlic chives. This went to seed. It's going to seed, actually. It's just starting to form the seed heads. And then here, I've got to redo this. This is parsley with garlic chives. And you've got a whole bunch of tomatoes coming up here. But I'm going to put something else in there. I might put more lettuce. And then those are my carrots that are like, what, two years old? More purslane, say. So this, I haven't done anything. See the lettuce over there? I grow lettuce right out the kitchen window. I've got some zucchini that I'm starting from seed. And then I've been moving that. So that's over there. And then I've got some walking onions. Here's the carrots I transplanted a few weeks ago. So the carrots are doing really good in there. 
And then I've got the hummingbird feeders. Let's see, what else is going on here? See, I'm not done. It's never done anyways. I'm just starting. I'll show you some exciting st stuff soon. I'm starting to really get serious on here, but I'm still working on all my gardens. I've got like a dozen gardens. Don't start a dozen gardens. But anyways, I've got a dozen gardens, so I'm working all over the place. There's a celery coming up from the bottom. I showed you this in another video. Look at that, two of them now. There's one there and one here. Isn't that funny? Those are the Deckard pots. See how I put them together so I give some lift to them? But the thing is, they found the holes on the bottom, and celery is aggressive. So I'm leaving it. That's fine. And then this is just lettuce seed. I'll take that out and probably leave the celery that's on the top. More personally. Keep in mind, I'm not planting this. But boy, is this good to make a green drink out of or just eat. This is very, very healthy. It's just that it takes over everything. Haven't really done anything in here. This is a little squash plant that's not doing so well, so we'll see. And these are just some of my water fountains. The hummingbirds love this. Oh my goodness, let me show you what it is. I bought it, and ever since I brought them home, the moment I sat them out here, the hummingbirds have been coming to it. And yet this one, which is what, Mandevilla? Yes, Mandevilla. They don't like it, so keep that in mind. Though it looks beautiful, they don't like it. All right, and this is the hummingbird lunch, and they do like that one, but I need to get that transplanted into a bigger pot, and I think I'll put that in my bird garden because it really does need a bigger pot. The cabbage, that one didn't get a head. The other head I made sauerkraut out of, it was wonderful. But this one's not getting a head, so I'm leaving it right now because I'm using the leaves to compost. As I start to build up my totes, I'm almost done. I actually take the leaves from the cabbage. Here's another one, and I'm using the cabbage, and I had one more because there were three that did not form a head. And those, I've actually been composting it, and the plants love cabbage collard wonderful this one's starting to make a, a comeback now so we'll see how that does I believe this is the bush zucchini the small one they didn't do good in the beginning but I'll show you one that's doing really good there's my bean farm it is going up 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 I am so crazy about this that I just ordered 400 feet it was like $35 online I'm going to be using that for everything that's that irrigation tubing it is fantastic. You can do anything. With, oh, please go look at the video. You can do anything you want with it. I've got a string going up. It's going to guide up the beans. See the beans? You got the beans here with ice cream sticks stuck in here with yarn, and the bean is going up the yarn. And you could just tie things in your garden whatever way you want. And then I've got these, and you can make holes in them with a soldering iron in any formation you want. It's like a puzzle. You put it together. The way it will work in your garden. It's just fantastic. I'm, I can't say enough good things and we'll probably talk about it another time. Can't say enough good things about them. Here I've got a zucchini I just planted the other day like three days ago. Now I can move this for a minute because I don't know if I'll go the other way. This is some white squash. They're small squash. I put two of them in here. Now this is mint but I'm going to change that out later and put a two system in here. I just took a cardboard for now because it's so sunny. I'm kind of covering them up a little bit because they're not real thrilled with the sun. They're too small. So I can just, just whatever way works. It holds it. I've got a little tomato plant growing there in here, and that's fine. Oh, this is my tricolored sage. This is old already. This has been here two, three years. I love this. You can do cuttings off of that. Now this one I'm going to redo because this had onions in it. See, there's still an onion there. Should cut that if it's good and use it, but it went to seeds. So I'm gonna collect the seeds, and then in the fall, I'm gonna grow those seeds and just put them everywhere and get more onions growing. That's some cuttings from a brassica. Oh, it is coming up from the bottom. Okay, and this has got, like I said, the zucchini. I have a little tiny two system in the corner there, but this is gonna need something bigger. So I'm gonna have to get a two system maybe in there too. A tomato plant, look at that, it came up on its own, so I'm leaving it. Then this is not a two system, it's just a pot. It's just layering with walking onions and garlic chives. There's parsley in there. Have not done this one yet, so I'm gonna get to this. I'm just starting to figure out what I'm gonna plant in here and move things about. Let me move back for a minute. So you see my beans. We talked, this is the red runner, scarlet runner beans. And they will go all the way up. See how they, they'll climb the black tubing, they'll climb everything. They, look at this yarn they're climbing. 
just whatever yarn you can get. I mean, yarn is amazing in the garden. It's cheap and it lasts for like two years. This is just, here's that tomato plant that was in the bag. That's right. So now it's in here, it's doing okay. This tomato plant, this is the patio one that gave me like a dozen plus tomatoes. It's not gonna make it. See, something happened to the trunk. It was damaged before, but it's on its way out. This is parsley. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take this out. I don't want the purslane growing next to the, I want the parsley and I don't want it to take away from the parsley. This is purslane, I don't eat that much. But I'm leaving the tomatoes because we're going to use them in the next day or two and they stay fresher when they're on the plant. When I bring them in, if they sit on the counter or even in the fridge, I don't like putting a lot of stuff in the fridge like that. You know, they start to go right away. But when they're on the plant, they're still alive. So it, they stay fresher that way. But yeah, that one, is, I don't think I can even do cuttings on it. If I was going to do cuttings, maybe when I remove the tomatoes, I can take this off and try to root this. I don't know if it will make it. So we'll see what happens. It's, and then this is purple tree colored with a lettuce in there. This catches water, so I can use that for whatever. I can make compost tea in there and then just lift it off. I've showed you how that works. There's a tomato plant underneath. Now that was over there and it was struggling because it wasn't getting any sun. So I've moved it here and I put it underneath. But the bulk of the tomato plant, the main part, is getting sun now. So it should do really good. So I tied it to the stakes. It's going up with my beans, the more scarlet runner beans. But look at this. This plant, oh, see the birds sit up here and poop on it. This is the zucchini squash bush baby. And I was concerned because none of them were looking good. Well, look at that. It's going to vine off. I didn't know it's supposed to vine off. I see tendrils on that. Look at this. I don't know if I want to pick it, see? Because I really would like to try to get some seeds off of it. Here's my issue, see something took a nip. It could have been a bird, I don't know, just a nip. So I put tool over it. That was a few days ago and that stopped that. Here's the issue. It's gonna have another flower. It probably was pollinating with my zucchini. So it won't grow true anyways. This is supposed to be a really small plant. So I'm not sure, but either way, I'm going to eat it. But I'm kind of waiting to see if I can get a couple seeds out of it. And then this is green sorrel. And then this is just nothing. There's a zucchini, another zucchini in here. I think this is another bush one, but it doesn't look that good. And then this is just purslane. So I'll do something with that later. And look at this. I had all that stuff I put in there, you know, like I compost in place. This purslane went nuts. And I don't know why. It was really no different than that one. And this one is just massive. So something I put in there, probably extra kitchen scraps, just made it take off. But I'm looking at the size of the leaves. I do know that the soil in here was from Aldi's. And it could be why it's struggling. That soil I bought was not finished. Some of you guys have told me that when you opened up the bag, it had fungus in it. Well, that if it's growing fungus, then a lot of times that means it was not finished potting soil. It needed to be broke down a little longer. There's no leaves or anything in there. It's whatever wood that they were trying to break down. And if the wood is still trying to break down, it's going to pull nitrogen from the plants and it's going to cause stuff like this. Once it's all done and it's not pulling nitrogen from the plants, then you end up with this. So this soil obviously was better because this container was sitting longer. I was getting ready to plant some lettuce in here. As you can see, there's some lettuce in here. And then the purslane blew in there. And if the soil is right, then you get bigger plants. What I'm going to do with a lot of the soil I'm not happy with is I'm going to dump it in a tote and throw a lot of brassica leaves in there with it. That will fix it really quick. And then I can just dig it out as I need it because I don't want to be struggling with a lot of soil. Nothing in there. And then back here, I haven't done anything yet. Now I've still got this tomato plant that's taking off and doing good. Got my moringa, as you can see back there. And that's down in the corner. Like I said, I haven't really done a whole lot. I'm just starting to organize how I want to do this. And then, of course, I might have to create some shade for some of the plants because we're now going deep in this summer. But, I mean, everything's doing good. This is the other tomato patio plant. This one's doing pretty good. This didn't have a damaged trunk, and boy, we're still getting, I don't know if you can see that. Look at all the tomatoes. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that big one off. Look at all that, that one's getting, yeah, that one's soft. I'll have to definitely get that off today. 
I probably will do cuttings off of that one later on, but that is just doing fantastic. They stay so small. I can't believe it. This variety, whatever variety it is, this patio one, stays so t small and throws a dozen plus good sized tomatoes. Another tomato plant is in here. I had the basket, so I put the basket on it. This is really nothing. It's just more lettuce that's growing. This is a Russian red kale. This is actually taking off. It's doing quite well. And the water catches in the third one. This is a three tier. So you've got the Russian red kale on the top. You've got it catching water and no water dripping out of the bottom. If you want to know how to make it, I've got the video on that. Then celery and the beans are kind of finished here. And this is my tomatoes. No, no, no. This is my strawberries. And here, I don't know if there's anything in here. Little, little tiny earthworms can't really see. This is just more pomegranate, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Well, because I composted in there. Now, that's what I wanted to show you. Right now, we're hot, so the sun is really beating on it. The leaves will all perk up later, but look at this. If you go back and look, three weeks ago, this was a tiny nothing plant. I really need to get this off, and I wanted to show you, so I figured today I can actually now, let's see if we can twist it. Kitty loves squash. I want to twist it without hurting the plant. If I can't, I'll have to come back and do it. If I hear a pop, then I know it's good. I don't want to break the plant. See, Slow, slow twist. There we got it. Now we just took it off. I'll lay it over here. And we'll have that for dinner tonight. Is that cool? That thing is heavy. Look how big that is. Now this plant will take off better. I need to get off more. Even the small ones that are in there, really it's kind of big. I don't need to have so many big ones. But this can come off and then there's a whole bunch more in there. Now let me tell you why this is so big. The main reason this one is so massive is because I put a two system in here. So here I've got a pot where I didn't know where to put the walking onion, so it's in a small pot. Then I've got more walking onions here. Does, that doesn't matter, I've got basil coming up here. But this is what matters. Let me see if I can lift it. Whoa, look at all the fruit flies. See what I do? I can just dump my kitchen scraps in there. This has got big holes on the bottom, so when I water this, it goes through the kitchen scraps. Now this one is a smaller pot than this, so there is space there, but you can do it where it's tighter. So you won't have anything coming out like that. That was just fruit flies. But this, when I water this, is going in here and it's going into the tote and it's watering this plant, which means this plant has a constant source of food, like plant food. Then of course the beans I've got in here too. See how the beans are going up? See how I made this curved? And then all I did was put some tape up there, which is holding my yarn, so the yarn won't move around, and now I've got beans. All of these, the beans are climbing up on their own. Isn't that cool? That's why I love this. This is so forgiving when you use this because see how it slides up and down unless you tape it? It's only gonna slide if you pull it. You can decide how far you want this up or down. Then you can put a little bit of masking tape. I like the green masking tape. Or don't put anything. You don't have to put anything, but when you put the masking tape, it won't move at all. So you got the beans going up, and it just, it's just the most versatile stuff I've ever come up with to use. And I'll be using that for now on in all my gardens, but they've got the beans there. But this is what's, I guess it's feeding the beans as well, but this plant just took off once I put that in there and started watering it. So that is something to think about. If you've got any plants struggling and you think they're not growing that good, go ahead and put a two system in there. It will make a world of difference because it's a constant food source. You don't have to feed it, don't have to do anything. All you have to do is periodically throw something in the bottom pot and then it will break down and feed the plants. This is my cilantro I planted. I've got to keep it in the shade because I don't want it to bolt. Here, I can move this. That's the tops we make out of the placemats. Look at this. Cool. I've got to do something on cilantro because I found out that one seed is two. So when you plant a single seed, and as soon as it starts to sprout, because I did it with the paper towel method, it actually grows two plants. And then I was running around trying to separate them, but they do fine either way. So I'm probably going to leave them for now on. But there's my cilantro. Now if I put that in the sunlight, it will bolt. So I've kind of got it in half shade and half sun. But that's it. I mean, you've seen everything. This is the backside. 
or the front side I should say you saw the back side and like I said I only have that one to do and probably that one here I'll probably remove the broccoli she knows there's no broccoli and then I'll go through here this is just some walking onions this little plant I was rooting and nothing with nothing in here what is this oh oh look at that you know what that is that's a baby onion and it's very dry in here put that back and maybe I'll transplant that must have fallen off the seeds were falling in here so I started growing more onions and that's why I want to collect the seeds so I'll have baby onions you can also collect the sets if I start them soon put them in for the winter and then put them back out in the spring whatever way you want to do it here the onions will grow almost all year round and that's it and then here is just a pot there's a tomato pot see I have to redo all this but that is it I'm really really pleased with this I mean it's so nice if I'm in the house and I need something quick like let's say I want to make eggs with something green in it I can come out here and grab some purslane that's really good in eggs by the way like fried eggs I can come out here and gra grab some oregano there's mint when I want mint tea I come out here and grab the mint there's the mint See, I'm just trying to shade this a little bit, just for a few days until it gets some size, because I just planted those squash. This one's doing okay just with the hood I made out of a tote lid. See, and then gives it enough shade. The tool actually acts as a slight shade cloth. Not a lot, but look how nice it's standing, and those will droop from the sun. But, I mean, I can come out here and grab anything I want. I don't have to go into the big garden to look around. I've got tomatoes back there. I've got garlic chives, walking onions, cilantro. So there's uh, tomatoes, of course, like I said. There's, I was looking at the little ones, but the big ones. This is like a little kitchen garden on the deck. But I want to get a lot more growing in here. So I've been trying to get out here more to do more here. And then get back in my garden, which I have a lot of work to do in my garden. Kitty left because it's hot. So she doesn't want to be out here. It's too hot, and she spent a lot of time out here with 4th of July at night. Kitty, you want to say goodbye? So that's the garden, and I hope you enjoyed this. Think about it. I'm using dish pans. She's back. You got a bow. She said, ah, you stuck a bow in my hair. I don't want a bow. I thought you would look different. You know, your eyes are squinty. She says, oh, it's too sunny out here. Think about ways that you can grow. I'm using totes. Here's, these are small totes. You've got the 18-gallon totes, which are the ones on the end. Then you've got these. They're probably 12-gallon totes. Dish pans work fantastic. Why? Because you can move them. You can pick them up and move them. I mean, look, I've got this in dish pans. I've got a squash growing in a dish pan. These are small. These are like under $3 at Walmart. I've talked about this a lot. They're 18 quart. All you have to do is compost really good in there, and it can be leaves. It can be shredded paper, toilet paper rolls. You want to mix it up. You know, on the bottom, you want something kind of big. You can put some chunks of wood in there. You know how I do it. And then on the top is where you put your soil. The soil will work its way down as the plant is growing, and whatever you put in there will turn into its own soil. But this is a dish pan. These are trash cans from Dollar Tree. They work fantastic. They're, they're small, and they work great. There's, a, there's all my beans growing in a dish pan. So you don't need big containers. I mean, that's all dish pans and flower pots and floral pots. So you, all you need, you can use a five gallon bucket, of course, but you don't need that much to grow things. If you're gonna grow, let's say beans, you can have a whole bunch of beans in there. I got a whole bunch of beans growing. Probably about eight different beans in there, or I should say different plants. And then with the zucchini, there were two more tomato plants in there with the bush zucchini. I went ahead and decided to pull two of them out, but there's one more tomato plant in there. I don't think that's a good idea because I want that plant to grow. So I'm going to pull the last one out. It came up on its own. I didn't plant it. It's doing really good. I'm going to leave the beans, but I am going to take out this tomato plant too. I'll find where I want to plant it. Maybe I'll plant it in there or maybe I'll use you know a trash can or something but I'm going to move the tomato plant I really want to see how long this thing will grow and I think it's really cool and this one's got the damaged stem I don't know if I showed you before but this one had a broken stem so I wrapped tool around it and I kind of staked it so it won't bend anymore because it's growing here and then it was damaged all through here so the tool is kind of holding the stem and then it, it curled back up and now it's sending out a new runner look at that 
So I want to make sure that tomato plant doesn't take away and I might compost in place a small container. See, I did a small one over here. Should, I don't know if I did a video on that, but this is a small one. You could do really little ones. You can put whatever you want in there. I don't know if there's any worms. Oh yeah, there's earthworms in there. Probably can't see them, they're really tiny. So you can make a two system any size you want. And I'm probably gonna put a small two system in there because I want the bush, the baby bush zucchini to grow. So I hope you enjoyed this. See, I'm starting some more seeds. I can move this out of here. And these are the white squash. It's like a patty squash and they're white. So Gary planted some in his garden. I planted the two there. And I'm gonna plant some in the driveway. Just to see, I've never planted them before. I wanna see what they look like as they grow. And like I said, and then I've got the tomato plants. So I think we're doing pretty good. And I've gotta think what else I wanna put in here. And then of course I can sit under my new gazebo that Gary put together in the shade here because this really gets sunny. It's the south facing deck and boy, does it get really too sunny. So I can sit here, have a cup of coffee or a glass of water and watch the hummingbirds. Oh, I was gonna tell you what the cord's for. I have to I didn't walk into it that's really good I've been walking into it I'm trying to get a, a picture I've been trying to sit out here because I've made a fountain in a very unique way and they keep coming to it but I can't sit all day I wish I could just waiting to get that right video and when the hummingbirds come they're so quick by the time I turn on my camera and come out here they're gone so I, I put my little outdoor camera there and I'll hopefully get some videos but you know what the problem is they've got the next garden over they've got like a dozen and a half fountains there and they're used to it and that's another issue is sometimes when you set something up and you go well where are the hummingbirds why aren't they taking a bath they're creatures of habit very much like us people and if they've got a favorite place they're going to go to that first so we'll take a while until they figure out that this is good too but i had one yesterday on that so I think that's it I've covered everything I know I needed to do an update on the deck and I'm thinking the next couple weeks it should look even cooler okay kitty do you want to say goodbye here I'll give you a broccoli leaf I don't have any broccoli wrong time of the year let's see do we have anything here's a leaf kitty she knows there's no broccoli kitty 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 oh yeah it's a broccoli leaf it's not real broccoli but you'll have to do she's not thrilled Ah, she says, I deserve more than that. Okay, with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.